The latest report from the National Hurricane Center predicts Hurricane Milton will soon make landfall as a Category 3 storm. For the latest, let's bring in Jamie Rome. He is the Deputy Director of the National Hurricane Center. Uh, Jamie, thanks so much for being with us. Do you have any updates since we saw you last? Yeah, unfortunately, the um, the eye wall of Milton is starting to move ashore uh, into Tampa, uh, St. Petersburg area, where we have an extreme wind warning in effect. This is a warning that's issued uh, by our local National Weather Service office to tell people that it's time to shelter in place. So it's no longer safe within this area to be outside of your home. You've got to get inside of your home to the interior of the home, away from the windows and glass. And these strong winds are going to continue to push inland overnight. Um, and I'm, I'm telling you from experience, um, these types of conditions at nighttime are just really terrifying. So make sure you're starting to hunker down and shelter. Don't be out on the roads anywhere along this I-4 corridor area because um, we're going to get, in addition to the wind, significant rainfall and flash flooding ahead of the system. And where is it going to be worse, Jamie? I think it's going to be worse from a wind perspective right uh, uh, right along where the center moves, but then the heaviest rain is going to be along into the north of where the center moves. So what that means is there's going to be a large swath of imp impacts along the I-4 corridor, a densely populated portion of, of Florida. So that's Tampa, Orlando area, uh, Lakeland area. You know, that's a pretty heavily populated portion of Florida are going to experience in some way, shape, or form the, the major impacts of Milton. And I'd love to learn a little bit more about how all of this happens. Like, how does a hurricane like Milton so quickly change from a Category 5 to a Category 3? What's the criteria? It's, it's if it has uh, ample uh, fuel. So the fuel is a warm uh, oceans. And so the Gulf of Mexico right now is really, really, really warm. Uh, and then if uh, those conditions come into play, storms can just deepen really, really quickly. And that's what happened with Milton. It just deepened so fast. Um, you know, we'd be seeing some of these uh, cases of these storms that develop over the Gulf of Mexico really, really quickly. It's because of those warm waters. Yeah. And you mentioned a number of other cases. This one seems to be um, quite dangerous. How does climate change, if anything, factor into this conversation? Well, certainly we know that these storms are changing. I mean, you can see it, you know, you can see it in the last several years. The degree of which they're changing, determining that in real time, you know, as the storm is progressing, um, we just don't have the ability to do that. That's going to have to be a, a study to take place after the fact uh, by researchers. And, you know, it's interesting. President Biden said Milton could be the storm of the century. Do you agree? Have you seen anything like this in recent years? For, pe for people in the path, absolutely. For the people in the path of this storm, it's going to feel like the storm of the century, the storm of their lifetime. And so many people have never experienced a storm like this. While people have experienced hurricane or the out of fringes of hurricanes, we're talking about the core of a major hurricane, a Category 3, moving into the Tampa St. Petersburg area. For most of the residents in this area, they have never experienced conditions like that. Okay, Jamie Rome, thank you so much for the info and the context. We appreciate that. And we will, of course, check in with you in a bit. Thank you.